Okay, we're going to show you how to hook a patient up now. Uh, this is going to be used most of the time with the high frequency vent. Our unit's the only one approved in the world, I guess, with the, uh, the high frequency TXP by Percussion Air. So, um, this is called the Phasitron, and that will be a whole other in service <laughs> in and of itself. Uh, this is assuming they already know how to use the TXP and the, the high frequency vents. So, uh, to hook the Aeronox up, we've got a special circuit. Uh, there's no wrong way to hook this up because we've got two different connectors, one for sample, one for delivery. So, when it comes out of the package, it's two tubes. Uh, the disc goes into the sample port, just like that. And then the flat piece goes for the delivery port, like that. Now we're going to follow these two tubes back. And you always want to sample closest to the patient. So our sample line is going to have the, uh, the drying, kind of the rough feeling tube on the end. So we'll hook that up to the sample port, which is close to the patient. Here's our patient. And then the delivery port is just a little bit further back right here. And that's what the finished product is going to look like when you have the circuit hooked up. We're going to want to, uh, we're going to assume that we already zeroed it out that you saw in the last end service, so that was the locale. So we're all ready to hook it to gas and ready to start our vent. Uh, there's a purge procedure that you have to go through for the regulator itself. And we will do that with the, uh, the purge button. So, hose is unhooked. You're probably going to have a, a transport size cylinder. We can pan over this. We have a test gas cylinder here. So, this quick connects into the regulator like this. But this regulator hooks to a small cylinder as well as the big cylinder. So, the proper procedure is to turn the gas on. Turn it off, and then we'll hit our purge, just like that. What we're trying to do is purge all the NO2 that could have built up in that so we don't get a bolus of NO2 into the machine when we first hook it up. So We'll do that three or four times, and uh, then we're ready to hook it to gas. So then we'll hook it to our tank. Mount the Aeronox wherever uh, you know it's designed for.